What's up, everybody? This is Thomas the Great coming back at y'all with another video on this beautiful Thursday. Just enjoying this weather. Just got to finish working out. Just trying to suck in some of this uh, sun out here while we quarantine. And I hope everybody's still staying safe, uh, taking the right protective precautions and just uh, going out at a minimum. And um, I just hope everybody um, make it through this safe sound and uh, just staying safe for you and your family. But today I want to talk about, I uh, mean, it's not going to be anything uh, long. It's just something that I want to rant about. Just speaking my mind. I ain't got nothing else to do. You know, just trying to pass time uh, while we all quarantining. But doing the things that we know not to do, you know, I don't understand why that is, but the things we know not to do, we still find ourselves doing sometimes. Um, why is that? You know, on all these videos, I always try to put myself as an example, um, but I don't know why some things that I myself know beforehand is not the best thing to do. <laughs> you know, like sometime I can know that this job that I may uh, be interested in, I know beforehand that it's not the best thing, not only for me, but my family, you know, I may not be spending time with them as much. You know, uh, I may be tired and exhausted the times that I do get to spend with them. So I'm not giving all of me to them. But yet. I'll take that job anyway. <laughs> Why is that? Or this person that I may become involved with as far as building a friendship with, you know. Um. You know, this 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 guy is something that I met and I'm a real stand alone type guy. Like it's real hard to sit there and build a friendship with me. So, you know, if I do decide to get involved with, um, you know, a person on a friendly level, you know, as far as involving, you know, friends in my circle. Um, sometime I may know that this person isn't the best to be around at the time, but. I don't know if it's my heart that gets the best of me, but I still allow myself to be involved with this person. Um, and they no good for me in my environment or in my circle. I don't understand that. Like, why is that? You know, they have scripture where Paul <laughs> said in the Bible, the things I know not to do, I find myself doing. Now, this may not be verbatim, but to some extent, it says that. Some of the problems that we deal with in life. History is true. History does repeat itself. So some of the things that we deal with in life, if we don't open up to other people. We always feel like we're the only ones dealing with them issues. There's a scripture in the book of James that said, come together and confess one another faults. Why is that? And that one verse is so powerful when you really unravel the revelation behind it. And let's do that for a second. With females in society, they're so in tune with one another. They give each other inspiration, motivation, encouragement to go on in life, to move on past situations, a helping hand when they need, a shoulder to lean on when they're not feeling their best self, just something to keep them going. They struggle with each other in times of need. That's what keep the feminine energy afloat 
it's one another. But us as males, the masculine energy feel like we too manly to come together for any type of inspiration, motivation, a shoulder to lean on when we're in need. Why? I don't understand that. It has nothing to do with being a man that you deal with your problems on your own. Nothing about being a man says to do that. That's why we have so many of us men with so many health issues because we want we don't want to sit there and take help. We don't want to accept help. We, want, we don't want a shoulder to lean on whenever we're going through problems. But yet we know <laughs> and we feel hopeless and helpless at times, but we don't want to show it. So therefore, again, we're doing the things we know not to do, but just doing it. I think I know the reason why. Maybe one part may not be the right answer in every aspect, but I know that whenever I was living a more spiritual life than I am now, it was harder for me to just go off the deep end and do things I know not to do. Why? Because I had a belief system. I had something that I can fall back on and say, look, this is right. This is wrong based off what I believed in, you know. I had something that was holding me accountable. Versus now, my spirituality isn't as strong, so I don't have anything to uphold my morals. I don't have nothing to look at to base my actions upon. I'm just living for self at this present moment. Just putting myself out there. So with that being said, I believe that's the answer as to why some of us, not all of us, but some of us do the things we know not to do and do them anyway, because we don't have anything to sit there and hold us back from doing it. There's an old saying that goes a little something like, if we don't stand for something, we'll fall for anything. No matter what your belief is, no matter what religion, what you may or may not call God, but I believe us as human beings need something to believe in, to uphold our morals. We can't go on in life, living life for self, basing everything off of what we believe is and isn't. Because if not, we won't have anything to fall back on that tells us yay or nay when we go to do something right or wrong. We have to believe in something, y'all. So let's get back or if we haven't been on a road of spirituality, let's get on a road of spirituality. Whatever you believe in or whatever you decide to believe in or whatever you decide to do, let's get on a path of spirituality so that we can be held accountable based off spirituality to not do as much of the stuff we're doing that we know not to do. We living in a time where we can't afford to continue to live life recklessly. We can't speak it on myself in general. I can't go on living my life in the present time that we in now living recklessly, not being held accountable, not having morals to stand on. We have a pandemic, global plant pandemic that's going on at that. People are dying out here. 
Whether you believe it is or isn't true, people are dying. The numbers don't lie. Whatever it is, people are dying. The stock market is crashing. Jobs are being at a minimum at this time. Only essential workers are able to work at this time. And that list of essential workers is going down and down and down and down. If we ever needed spirituality, it was now. It is now. Because I don't see the peak in psych at this time. I don't see it. They're making more tests available for the American people. And I believe when them tests become more available and more rapid, more and more people is going to know, or should I say more and more people is going to wind up with the coronavirus. So let's make sure we believe in something, y'all. Let's make sure that we holding ourselves to a high standard, living with morals. If we don't know any, have you what's called an accountable accountability friend, someone that you can talk to, someone that you can hold accountable to hold your information sacred. You need somebody. We need, we all need something and somebody to trust and lean on at this present moment. We can't keep going on, especially as us as men, just holding on, holding on, holding on. It's killing us, y'all. It's killing us, especially us as men. Find you somebody to lean and trust. Find you something to believe, something to, to, to grow morals on, to hold you from doing, from not doing the things you know you're not supposed to do. It's killing us. Anyway, this is Thomas the Great, y'all. I hope y'all like this information. Like I said, it wasn't nothing in particular. You know, I was just really ranting, you know, just trying to get this off my chest. But I hope it was enough to touch somebody in this aspect. Y'all, please like the video, subscribe, click the notif notification bell. That way, anytime I come up with a video, you'll be notified. And let's stop doing the things we know not to do. All right. I hope y'all stay safe out here. I hope y'all spending this quality time with y'all family in this time of trouble and these perilous times. You know, let's not look at all the darkness. Let's make some light of it. We we are able to spend time with our family. Uh, if not, let's make sure we spend the time with our family because nobody knows where this is going to go. All right. Y'all stay safe out there.